Welcome back! In today's video I'll update my Hekar 1 Portapak H2 Plus. This one is in this transparent case, you know, to match my limited edition Flipper Zero. And I also have one in white case. It is same Hekar 1 Portapak H2 Plus as well. For update procedure you will need micro USB cable and SD card adapter and also a computing device. So shovel one end of the cable to the Hekar 1 Portapak H2 Plus and another end to the computing device. Let me tell you about my friends at PCBWay. They have best prices and quality in industry. And on top of this PC PCBWay delivers, and I'll say it again, they deliver, no matter what. Also I just found out about their gift store, where you can purchase so many amazing products with your safe beans. You saving beans by spending dollars on website. Let's say you got custom PCB or 3D print for 50 bucks, PCBWay will add 50 beans to your account. PCBWay, first link in description below. Alright, put HECAR 1 Portapak H2 Plus into HECRF mode like so and jump to the source of Mayhem firmware on GitHub. Scroll down to releases and click latest. Here you have release notes, usually huge list of changes that new firmware comes with. Make sure to read them all. It will help you understand new features and structures of new firmware. This upgrade could be done with new portal or app. I have choose old school method due to some bugs and hiccups with new methods. I'll install it the old school way. So I'll download firmware.zip file and also copy the SD card file. Once downloaded, I'll unzip firmware and open terminal add folder like so. I'll paste this command and hit enter. You can find command in description below. It will install new firmware onto HackRF1 Portapak H2 Plus within few seconds. Now I'll close all and disconnect the USB cable. HackRF will reboot and firmware is installed. Next I have to turn it off and remove SD card. I'm using Panasonic 16GB SD card with captain tape for better handling. SD into adapter and to the computing device, like so. I'll unzip copy to SD card folder and drag and drop all folders into the HackRF SD card. This step is important as new firmware can have a different structure and locations for some files. Check product links in description below. If asked what to do, I usually use merge all. There is always good idea to back up your SD card just in case. This process takes few seconds. Time depends on SD card write speed. Now is perfect time to check my other hacker videos. I know that you will enjoy them. Also, please subscribe and hit the like button. It will be appreciated. And if you feel super generous, join my membership program and enjoy early access to new videos. Please subscribe now. Once transfer done, safely remove SD card and insert it into the HackRF1 Portapak H2 Plus. Fire it up and all is in order. New firmware and all its new apps and files are working together like never before. Big thanks to guys working on Mayhem firmware, they are doing amazing job for sure. Let me know if I should get new H4M and start making videos. For now I am enjoying my two H2 Plus versions of HackRF. Thanks for watching and see you next time.